Hey everyone, Jerry with Vinci Digital. We are a digital marketing agency that helps businesses generate a reliable and consistent flow of high quality leads that convert. Whether you created your brand 10 years ago or 10 months ago, there comes a time for every brand when they must evolve. This doesn't always mean you've done something wrong. It just means there's opportunities to get it more right. So what are we talking about today? Rebranding. Don't get defensive. Like we said, rebranding is all about embracing opportunities and positive changes. Many companies see the benefits in a successful rebrand, but unfortunately, not everyone gets it right. The truth is, while rebranding creates opportunities, it also comes with its own risks. Whether you're rebranding as a form of crisis management or simply to catch up to the times, you don't wanna dive into the endeavor with your eyes closed. Today, I'm going to give you a clear picture of what a successful rebranding should look like for your business. So first things first, let's talk about some companies that have crushed the rebranding process recently. Number one on our list, oddly enough, is Dunkin', formerly known as Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts started its rebranding with an announcement of its intent in 2018. While many were shocked that a company that literally built its 70 year old business around donuts, the truth was that they had actually outgrown donuts and somehow became a coffee destination with a loyal following that rivals Starbucks. With that following and even a retail brand of their own in grocery stores, it's no wonder they decided to take the next step and rebrand with their future in mind. The goal of rebranding was to maintain the company's legacy, but expand its image, reaffirming that they were no longer just donuts. They were able to do this by keeping recognizable and respected Duncan while dropping the limiting donuts from their name. And when it came to their logo, they kept key elements that nodded to their history while adding modern freshness. By performing a successful rebrand, Duncan was able to remove a limiting factor in its brand name and allow the company to compete more in the beverage market. Duncan took the rebrand to their stores with remodels and used it to cover all aspects of their marketing, including social media channels and packaging designs. It changed quickly and once the planning was complete and without too much fanfare, Again, this was due to a very strategic plan that honored the history and legacy of the brand and without sacrificing any of their brand values. <laughs> Next up on our list is Tupperware. Although Tupperware has a solid and iconic image, I think we can all admit that somewhere along the line, the Tupperware brand became somewhat of a relic of the 1970s. So in 2018, the company decided it was time to rebrand and modernize to meet the current market. Rebranding allowed Tupperware to shed out data to associations and refresh its image to satisfy the modern culinary experience. While Tupperware was once a sign of empowerment for women, the, the company wanted to expand on that concept to make it more inclusive and less sexist. The rebrand started with the tagline, confidence becomes you. The tagline was their way of playing on the brand's origin while leveraging a place in the modern world. Contrary to Duncan rebrand, Tupperware did not change their name because it wasn't the root or a solution to their pain point. Changing it would only disassociate them from the market they had spent decades building as pioneers in the culinary industry. Instead, their rebrand focused on messaging and visual identity. They updated their color palette with bright colors and added new taglines to all their marketing assets. Tupperware updated its internal message as well with a new book of confidence for associates. Tupperware performed a successful rebrand by keeping their name to utilize the company's reputation as a pioneer in its market and using colors and messaging to create a bold modern voice that would reach people of all ages and genders and modernizing an internal message as well to empower associates with the new modern voice. Through rebranding, Tupperware kept its connection with its past, but made it more appealing to younger generations. Last but not least, let's chat about our furry friends at Animal Planet. Animal Planet began its rebranding in the fall of 2018. The goal was global recognition across many platforms. The company was already available in 205 countries, but 
needed a way to connect its marketing to a global audience using multiple viewing devices. The solution was a remake of the iconic Animal Planet logo. While their old logo may have held some recognition and nostalgia for some, the reality was it did not have global recognition. The company wanted to remedy that with an innovative new look that still held some of the elements from their past. Ultimately, they chose to create a new modern logo design that incorporated the original elephant jumping over the inference of a globe. The underside of the logo was round to represent the globe by having the elephant jumping. Animal Planet wanted to capture a sense of energy and joy. Every tiny detail was chosen within purpose and had a specific goal for its inclusion. When they decided to rebrand, Animal Planet made some key decisions that ensured their success. The brand focused its rebranding effort on the logo, minimizing the impact for viewers. Besides being aesthetically pleasing, the logo translates well across different countries and cultures. The logo gives the brand a memorable global mark for marketing assets and products. Animal Planet's new logo gave them an icon that worked well on television and mobile devices. So what should you take away as we consider rebranding in 2023? Rebranding is now mainstream for companies looking to add a fresh coat of paint. However, rebranding isn't limited to large corporations. It can be a way for a small or medium-sized business to stimulate growth, especially in an economic shift like the world is currently seeing. Many economists are suggesting the chances of a recession in the near future, or that we're already in a recession. In 2023, companies will be looking for any way to draw the attention of consumers who are starting to cut back in fear of a recession. That could mean simple messaging changes to stay competitive and recognizable like updated shape shifting logos. Another aspect you should take away is the implementation of minimalism. Using minimalism, brands may symbolize current concerns such as global financial issues and the environment. That typically means shifting the color palette to just one or two colors. You can expand on that by using more negative space on the website and in marketing campaigns. Less is definitely more for 2023. While rebranding is a risk, having an expert on hand will ensure it goes smoothly regardless of your reason for rebranding. So at Vinci, we work with companies of all sizes to help them rebrand with cutting edge website and logo designs and would love to talk to you about how we can help your business do just that. Because our goal is always to help businesses like yours and we're offering you a free 30 minute strategy session with no strings attached. There's no hidden fees, sneaky plans or tricks up our sleeves. We simply wanna help your business grow. So contact our team today, schedule your free strategy session and you won't regret it, I promise you. So thanks for hanging out with me today, everyone. I'll chat with you again soon.